Hey, what's going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Exploit Security. I'm your host CyberMonkey and today we're going to be going over Bandit level 25 to 26. So full disclosure, I'm no longer going to be filming these live going through the first time. Uh, I am filming them live going through a second time, but I did complete these over the weekend. One of the reasons why I'm really not going to be posting the first, the first attempt is it, it took me an incredibly long amount of time to be able to find the solution for some of these levels. So I figured it was better if I went through and then just kind of went through a second time live without any notes or anything, just to kind of show you what I did in order to solve it. Uh, hopefully you guys can still get some value from that. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think and see if it still works for you. But this YouTube channel is all about me kind of documenting my journey to earning the OSCP. And for those of you guys that do not know, the OSCP is a well-regarded pen testing cert in which you have to go through, I believe, five vulnerable machines within a network. Um, and it's hosted by Offensive Security. So I really like the concept of that, especially compared to CEH, which is just more knowledge-based, multiple choice questions. Um, that, that doesn't really intrigue me as much. I actually want to be able to show that I have the ability as a penetration tester to go in and exploit various machines and networks. So I, I like the concept of that. So we're going to be filming kind of moving forward into various challenges ranging from, you know, VMs, vulnerable VMs and other capture a flag or war game challenges just to kind of build up that knowledge background. Um, you know, we already have or myself, I already have a lot of knowledge in this but I, I wanna be able to learn how to apply it in an effective manner that's required for penetration testing. So Bandit level 25 was actually a pain. Um, so as you guys can see on the description, logging into Bandit 26 from Bandit 25 should be fairly easy. The shell for user Bandit 26 is not, been, is not bash, but something else, find out what it is, how it works and how to break out of it. So I struggled with this level a lot. Man, this one, this one gave me a headache. It took me a couple hours actually to go through and actually complete it, which is what led me to the whole point of I'm not going to be filming these live going through the first time. So let's go on and log into Bandit 25 just so I can give you guys an idea. Now, of course, it's going to look a little bit easier going through from, you know, the second perspective after I've already solved it. But I mean, keep in mind that it, it definitely forced me to think outside the box quite a bit. So the first thing that I did is upon signing into Bandit 25 was I listed the, you know, the contents of the directory. And as you guys can see, we have the SSH key for Bandit 26. So obviously the first thing that I did was I attempted to log in with that SSH key. And it worked, of course, partially. Um, and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about here in a second. So go on and enter yes, the full word and hit enter. And as you guys can see, it posts the banner for Bandit 26 and then it immediately closes down. Um, so I tried running various things um, just to kind of see if I could work around it. Um, and that didn't work. I spent maybe 30 minutes trying to play around with different commands and everything um, before I realized that probably wasn't my best bet. So then I started kind of digging around through the directory and this is what I found. So I actually took a look at um, the password folder and I did some piping so I could grep Bandit 26. And when I did that, I found this link. And as you can see, there's a file called show text. So what I did was I went and took a look at that, obviously kind of just being a bit nosy and looking at everything and it, it looks easy now, but I was poking around kind of at everything going through this. Um, so let's go ahead and paste that in. And you guys can see there um, that it's been changed over. So the next part I'm going to show you is actually where I really, really struggled at. And I actually had to Google a lot and I did get a little bit of help on this part because I, I never would have found the solution or, or if I had, if I did have the chance of finding the solution, it would have taken me weeks and weeks to find this. So um, I wanted to be able to still get value from this without spending a lot of time on this level. I mean, it, it was causing a major, major headache. So. This is the result I ended up finding and it worked great. So we're gonna go on and log in with that key again. Now, before you log in completely, you're gonna get prompted to enter yes or no. What I went ahead and did was I zoomed in to the terminal all the way as far as I could zoom in and then I executed the yes. 
once I did that, you guys can see that more 50% drops up and you can kind of get an idea that that's the banner for Bandit 26 posted up there. Now, once you get to this point, you're good to just go on and zoom back out to a view where you're comfortable with. Um, hopefully you guys can see that okay. Um, next, you're just gonna press V and then you're gonna enter colon and E and then you are going to enter the path for the Bandit 26 password. So, as you guys know the location already, bandit underscore pass, and then bandit 26. So there you go. There's the password for bandit 26. Um, bandit 25 and 26 are pretty well tied together, but I'm still gonna film them separately. Like I said, I did have to get help on this. I don't wanna lie to you guys and make it sound like I eventually found this solution myself. This is one of the few, few, few levels of different capture flag challenges where I was just 100% stumped. I never would have thought of something like that, but I'm definitely gonna keep it in my toolbox and remember just to kind of think outside of the box a little bit. Um, so like I said, I am gonna post up the password in the description for you guys. I'm gonna post up the password for Bandit 25, not the password for Bandit 26. Each level or each video is gonna have its own respective password, so keep that in mind when you're actually trying to log in. Um, like I said, this this one was a this one was a bit of a challenge. So if you guys were struggling as well, hopefully this video helps you out because it definitely gave me a run for my money. So at this point, we're gonna go on and cut the film, and I'm probably gonna jump straight into videos like I've been doing. I'm just gonna kind of see how many I can push out along the way. Um, so hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content. If you guys have any recommendations, by all means, kick them my way. If you do like the video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get higher up on the search, especially as we start kind of getting into bigger challenges, um, maybe some vulnerable VMs. So I do kind of wanna, wanna hopefully help a few people along the way. Um, if not, I'm still gonna keep posting the content regardless. I like doing it uh, and it, it kind of keeps me on a guided path. So we're just gonna keep trudging along. So if you guys do like the content, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Exploit Security. I'm your host, CyberMonkey, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.